one test meter. Some leads. All right. Okay, so this is Mega's latest lineup into the market of multifunction test meters, the 1741. Okay, so the first impressions are it is a durable bit of kit. It does, it feels very substantial. Um, well, I mean, I mean, it seems substantial enough. Uh, other things I like about it are they've now put test buttons on both sides of the test meter. So it just makes it a little bit easier when you're working. You've just got a bit of flexibility. Remember on the old 1552, you had the yellow test button this side, Well, they've ditched away with that and they've put them on both sides. I like that feature. It just makes it a little more user friendly. Okay, so I'll go through quickly some of the different features we've got. You've got the normal voltage, continuity, insulation resistance, and then you've got your ZS testing, your earth fault loop impedance tests. And then you've got your RCD at the bottom for your different functions there. And then on this side, earth fault loop settings, earth stake testing, and then down there is your values for your RCD testing. So pretty much the standard stuff you'd expect from a tester of this sort of calibre. Okay, I'm not going to bore you too much with the you know, all of the normal features because, I mean, the predecessor megas, you know, insulation testing, continuity. I'm not going to go down that road. I'm just going to focus on the more the newest features that it's got. Um, I can't test it here today, but this has got, apparently you can do a ZS test with a circuit protected by a 10 milliamp RCD. Um, I haven't got a 10 milliamp RCD here, but if you're working in things like uh, colleges, schools, hospitals, where there's 10 milliamp RCDs, on this 1741, apparently you can do a ZS test with a circuit protected by a 10 milliamp RCD, which is quite a good feature. All right, so I'm just having a quick play around with this, just familiarizing myself with it. One of the things I've just noticed is on the continuity setting, when you're nulling your test leads and stuff, or if you're doing a t an end-to-end -end test, the meter gives you a little confirmation beep just to let you know that it's comfortable with the reading that it's found, just the lowest value, that it's a stable value, so to speak. I do like that, because you know when you do a continuity test, um, sometimes if you're not holding the probes tightly enough and that you get a fluctuating value. But on this, when you put, them, when you put your probes together or you're doing your end-to-end -end test, it just gives you a little confirmation beat just to let you know it's found a stable reading. I did like that, it's a nice little touch. One of the other things I noticed is that on the insulation setting, when you put it onto 1000 volts, they've kept the little confirmation warning just before you hit test. Just like that there, just to give you a little warning before it introduces the test. I like that feature as well. Now, Mega claim that this test meter isn't affected by RCD uplift. So we're gonna put that to the test now, and they are adamant that this is the case. So if we select our loop testing setting like that, I'll plug in the third lead. All right, so if we just do a test here now. All right, so we've got a reading of 0.19. If I now test that on, what's that, that's L3, we should get a reading that's pretty similar. Might be a smidge lower, depends. 0.17, okay. So it is marginally lower, but it does give you a gauge that actually is really not taking into account it takes into account very little RCD uplift, which is an impressive feature, I do like it. The other thing that this test meter includes is um, a confidence display. I'll show you that now. Okay, so the idea is, is that when you plug in or you do a test at the board or whatever to do a ZS test, when you switch it on, you get this display which comes up here. You'll see it now, this one here. Now the idea is, it measures how much noise is on the circuit. Now there's very little noise here and it's gone straight to the center, the center digit. But if you've got a circuit you're working on and let's say it's a noisy circuit, it'll just keep on fluctuating and it'll keep on testing the circuit until it finds a value that it's, it thinks is stable. So essentially the value that it gives here is the most stable value that it's managed to find. Here there's very little noise on the circuit so it, took, it was a very quick test. If there is noise on the circuit, it does, the test does take a bit longer while it's, it's testing, trying to find a value that's the most stable. But generally, it's a very, very fast test now. On the old Megas, it used to take about 15 seconds. Now, if you plug it in and switch it on now, the test takes, what's that, five, eight seconds? It's not long. It's a very, very quick test. Okay, so closing thoughts. Um, overall, I like it. It's a good bit of kit. Um, it is solid and substantial. That's the first thing you notice when you use it. It's a properly solid piece of equipment. I do like the idea that this Mega isn't affected by RCD uplift. I think that's a good, uh, it's a good addition to the test meter. Because it just, for me, I think it helps inspire confidence when you're doing your testing. Um, I like the idea of the functional test lead. They've made it smaller and it's just a bit more ergonomic, just nicer to use, and it just feels good. Um, the confidence meter, I've been using it here. 
Again, there's not a lot of noise on these circuits here, so time will tell. I'll keep everybody updated on how I get on with that facility. But initially, it seems like a good idea. So overall, I'd say that's a good job, Mega. Well done.